Muslim faith will make their way to the Dodden Barracks Prayer Ground at Obalinde Ikoi area of Lagos, observing COVID-19 protocols. Not minding the rainfall, they are determined to observe the Ido Kabir prayers despite the rain. The Deputy Governor of Lagos, Kadri Hamzat, Speaker of the House of Representatives, Femi Bajabiamila, among the dignitaries observing the prayers at an event, the Imam of Lagos Central Mosque re-echoes the essence of salvation. It's very significant to each and every one of us as Muslims to fear Allah, to have the piety of Allah, to fulfill our promises, not only between us and our Maker alone. We make promises, maybe where we are seeking for you know, position of authorities and I mean positions of authority and so on. So after getting those positions, are we anywhere to be found fulfilling our covenant with our people? In the rain, prayers continued. Afterwards, a ram is sacrificed. The deputy governor gives his message at his residence, asking people to celebrate moderately. Like we know, you don't have to do anything wrong in order to catch COVID-19. But the truth is, the number of admission in our isolation center is spiking up. So therefore, we all have to be very careful, celebrate moderately, and, uh, you know, within the family, not too much gatherings, you know, comply with the COVID-19 protocols. And let's make sure that, uh, we, as much as we are happy, we don't want to end up unhappy by getting sick. Speaker of the House of Representatives observes the same tradition at his home. In the spirit that we're in today, uh, let Nigerians continue to, to, to live in peace together. I am a proponent of unity of this country. I am not there yet where you talk about uh, secession or division or people go their separate ways. I've always believed that God, Almighty God, in his wisdom, uh, uh, put this country together in spite of our differences uh, for a reason. And I believe in uh, the saying that um, um, united we stand, divided we fall. One of the lessons of Ida Kabir is a demonstration of God's infinite mercy on mankind and the Muslim faithfuls have been asked to imbibe the spirit.